um, March 18th happened of 2020. And yeah. that was the day COVID, you know, and obviously at that moment, no one knew what was what. Like that right. was before politics got involved. That was before yep. we had vaccines or whether or not it was real or where it came from or anyone's opinion didn't matter at this moment. It was just like, oh my gosh, what what is this? Yep. And shut down. You shut, gotta shut down. Got to shut down. So March 18th, 2020, I laid off over 400 people and closed 28 stores. Toughest day of my professional <sighs> career. Uh, when it's home. funny. I'll never forget that. I got goosebumps. I mean, I'm once I had two stores, yep. but I'll never forget that date, March 18th, 2020, where yep. I sat down with my guys right right over there. Said, "Sorry, guys." That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This uh, is till it. further notice. Yeah, till so, further notice. So, how many stores did you close? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight stores on March 18th, 2020. Did you say to the landlords, "Hey, can you keep us around? We'll open up later." Or you just said, "That's it. We're just we're we, we didn't say anything." to landlords we uh, brian my chief development officer brian came in and he said jeff i don't think it's safe i don't know if it's safe but we have a lot of high school and college age workers and for the sake of their health and safety and just our customers since we don't know let's just shut we'll figure it out i'm like okay like that's the call we're gonna call it tough decision but made the call toughest day of your business career ever for sure uh never had to lay off four we, we did a 400 yeah i went i mean i, I was in tears I was, I was like you know i had investors i had put my it, this was a passion project so this also means a lot like i don't fail because fails when you quit right yes. i lose and i learn but then i pick myself back up and i keep going this was like it's over like, as far as COVID, I, I didn't know how long it was gonna last yeah, like yeah. this could be you know game changing and so um i felt terrible for all my employees i felt terrible for all my investors i felt terrible for my customers i felt terrible for myself it was just one of those terrible days and so I do this thing called my five minute pity party. Um, I think this is a mistake we make. We either are a victim for too long or we don't address the emotion and we just try to be tough, tough guys yep. or tough girls. And so I set an alarm on my phone for five minutes and for five minutes I scream, cry, curse, feel like a victim. The world's not fair, blah, blah, blah. But I let those emotions out and I do it and it's real and it's, it's raw. Um, but once the alarm goes off, it's over. That's it. Back yeah. to business. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, you can cry forever, but figure it out. it's time to figure it out. So, and the analogy I use there is if I throw somebody in the lake in their clothes while they're on a boat, they're going to first come up and be like, what the hell just happened? But then they're going to start swimming. They're going to pick a direction, right? And yeah. swim. So um, the alarm went off. The next day, we, uh, a couple of my executives who weren't employed anymore were getting paid. I called them and said, hey, guys, let's all meet in the office. And most of them showed up. Some didn't. Um, fine. And what are we going to do now? What's next? And we realized we have 28 restaurants, we have tons of superfoods because we import them ourselves, and we have a bunch of customers that need food but are stuck at home. So mm. we spun up a Shopify website and called it Later Bowls, and we started selling bowls that we would deliver to your house from our stores and started selling products that way. And Drew Brees ended up being one of those customers. And um, Wow. So for two years, we tried to work a deal out we never could. And With then, him? Yeah, with him. We just couldn't make it work. And then he started ordering product to his house and we started delivering food and he started making them at home and became a big customer. And then when we reopened the stores and then started franchising. So how forward, long did you do that for? And how did you get the word out that you were doing that? Just, through, uh, we put flyers on our doors, all 28. Ah, we, okay. we did some advertising on social media. Yep. You know, we told all of our employees, hey, just let everybody know. We did a blast to all of our loyalty members that we had their phone numbers or emails for. And just said, hey, if you're at home and you're stuck, go to laterbowls.com and order. We'll deliver tomorrow. Who, how, who was delivering for you? I was delivering. My CEO. You were actually delivering. Oh, I was in the you. truck. Me. Driving the truck. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. Listen to this. I drove the truck three days a week. My COO drove the truck two days a week. Listen. And, and my chief development officer drove the truck the other two days. We were Come hand on. packing. There were three of us. That's it. Come on. Yeah. Who else I'm so glad I asked that question. Yes. Because I thought you were using Uber or oh, somebody. No, 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 we, we, no way. No, we did it ourselves. And then <laughs> we started bringing employees back. Now we had a job for people who needed them. And we were able to bring people back because they were isolated in a van by themselves, dropping boxes. What was the wifey saying at this point, Jeff? Are you like, you're getting, get it. This is 100% truth. Give it to me. One of the days is the second or third day I was delivering. I couldn't meet the demand. <laughs> So I gave her half the boxes. Shut she up. was driving in her car. Come she on. No, seriously. And my wife, she she's uh, raises the kids. She stays home. That's she yeah. worked that day, and together we we dropped food around the county of San Diego. She was down. She's like, "Baby, I'll do whatever." Yeah, we of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, when there's water, when there's water on the boat, get the water off the boat. Yeah. You know, like there's no time for titles and egos. I mean, this there's is millions and millions and millions of dollars in his career, business, twenty eight locations, four hundred employees, and he hops in the truck to deliver his own acai bowls. Of course. 